Here we are in New Orleans for the No Workshop Tour. The workshop tour was born out of um, morphed out of the concept of looking for stray dogs in Detroit, and then um, it gathered so many photographers from all over the country, and one from Canada. We can actually get a group of photographers together from Facebook and um, have a subject, have a city, and have eight people and explore cities. Hi, I'm Donovan Fannin. Welcome to New Orleans. Donovan was a guy I met here in Seattle, and I happened to meet him at a show that was going on. Him and a group of people went to this show, the same show I was at, and um, we started talking, and Donovan said, I'm from New Orleans, man, and he knew that we were going down there, so I just asked him, are you, are you available to kind of hang with us and stuff? Donovan Fannin, the um, local photographer who joined us for entire trip in New Orleans um, with no workshop tour is a fantastic photographer. He's a, a, like a mad scientist of a night photography. I, I, got a, I got a kick out of his technique uh, with a flash in one hand, um, fisheye lens and camera in, a, in a, another hand and he just basically attacks his subjects with laughter and and good energy and they give it all to him but on top of everything uh, connected to photography he's a great um, DJ. Donovan is a rock star. <laughs> On the second day of our No Workshop tour, we visited St. Joseph Cemetery. We went there and uh, indeed the tombstones were um, beautiful. It was um, well decorated with fresh flowers. Um, some, some grave sites were um, well taken care of. Some of them were in a state of slight decay. So we photograph and um, at some point I see a, a guy sitting at, at the grave site uh, arranging flowers in a, in a vase. This is a, a family tomb and it was built in about the late 1800s, about 1878, 1879 and there's about 13 people buried in it. Now, the Archdiocese of New Orleans owns a cemetery. Now, you must put the tomb in excellent condition, and then you turn it over to them, and you give them a certain amount of money. I did this 15 years ago. I gave them $3,000, and it's now put in perpetual care. So every year, they check the tomb. If there are any repairs need to be made, they remade it, they, they make them, and then they turn around and, and, and paint the tomb whenever it is necessary to make it look like it's brand new. So you can see the difference between right. the tombs cared for and not You can cursed. see the difference between the tombs that have perpetual care and those that don't. I see. Him. So Ron, um, at some point, um, called me over to a place where he uh, found an image that was interesting to him. Well, one of the things about this shot is, if you take a look, is you got the building in the background and you've got um, <laughs> the tomb <laughs> where people are, are buried. And so it shows we're in the wall alive and we're in the wall after death. <laughs> yeah, just some simple things sometimes when you're photographing is just uh, you know keep an eye on uh, these little details that tell a little bit of a story. So the same day um, after St. Joseph Cemetery, after seeing a beautiful, beautiful 
um, well-kept uh, place. Um, we go to Merrick Cemetery. Um, Merrick Cemetery was one of the hardest hit cemeteries um, by Hurricane Katrina. When, when we went to the cemetery, I noticed that uh, there was a few people taking care of the the grave that got um, basically wiped out, and a lot of these above uh, ground tombs, and and they were there painting them and cleaning the grass around them, and it's really um, it, it's pretty powerful to see that you know no matter what Mother Nature does. Uh, uh, the stuff that happens to you as a person, how you just kind of rebound and, and, and you just start digging and, and uh, making the best of it. I think that going to New Orleans, the, everybody knew that we were going to go to many places in the city, um, many historic places, places of um, cultural importance and uh, that we were going to see artists playing, painting, that we were going to mingle with each other as photographers. But the biggest thing in my mind was Halloween in New Orleans. This is where the city goes basically berserk for the night. Halloween in New Orleans is a crazy time. There were so many amazing outfits. The crowd was thick and the crowd of people dressed in the most incredible, inventive, intricate, well thought out, funny costumes I've ever seen. You often see uh, t-shirts with the logo, life is good, and you may wonder, you know, life is good, when life is good, and <clears throat> how to make life good, and I, I felt it through the entire trip that my life was good. My life as a photographer, as a working photographer, making new friends um, within the business, um, going to places and photographing together, exploring sharing ideas, sharing past stories from our lives, leading to our photography past, um, seeing things that we planned, seeing things that were unplanned. Well, one of the things that I feel uh, about New Orleans and about America uh, is this No Workshop Tour, uh, my experience to experience some of the places in the United States. I've been here all my life and there's places that I've read about you see in the news and I've never gone there and so you know there's so much here in the United States that uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing and and who knows where our next workshop tour is going to be uh, it could be in a city close to you so